In this video we're going to be introducing different types of data and the names that are given to these different types. So we're going to start off with a concept of primary and secondary data. So data can be described as being primary or secondary based on where it comes from. Primary data is data that I have collected myself. So data I have collected. And I have collected it in a very specific way and it may well be that I've imposed certain conditions on collecting this data to make it fair. So I've put those conditions in place. However, I may well use secondary data. Secondary data is data someone else has gathered. And it may not be, it might not have been gathered for particularly the reason that you're going to use it. So, for example, examples of secondary data could be data from the internet, uh, data from a census, for example. Okay, these are all examples of secondary data which I could use to uh, explain a point, for example. Rather than primary data, which is data that I might have collected through an experiment or through a questionnaire. Now, speaking of questionnaires, that leads us on to other types of data. A questionnaire can be split up into what questions are being asked and what data you are getting from those types of questions. And so the types of questions that you can ask in a questionnaire can either be qualitative or quantitative. Okay? So there is a difference between qualitative data and quantitative data. And I try and pronounce it in that way to highlight the fact that this is beginning with what appears to be quality and this is quantity. Okay? And so if you're thinking about qualitative data, quanti uh, quality, then we're talking about variables that cannot have, do not have numerical value. So things like uh, hair colour or eye colour, or uh, names of cars. So these are qualitative. I cannot put a measure to them. Quantitative, however, you're looking at something a quantity, so it might be something like age, or it could be height, or weight. Okay, and so on and so forth. Okay, so a questionnaire might be asking what is your hair colour, it might also ask your age. The age question is a number, is a numerical value that can be used and quantified, but the hair colour cannot be. Okay, it is a qualitative question. Now, of those quantitative questions, they can be split up into two distinct sections. You might be getting discrete data or continuous data. Now, the definition is very important between which is which. The concept is that for discrete data, discrete data can take certain values. So, if um, you go into a shoe shop, and you look at the sizes of the shoes, you're looking at four, four and a half, five, five and a half, but you're not going to get a 6.12349 size shoe. So they are split up into discrete groups, okay? And that's what can be represented with discrete data. So shoe size is a very, very common one to use. For continuous, continuous means that it can take on any value 
within a certain range. So things like height and weight are very good examples of continuous data because if I measure a group of people's height then they might be um, might be 102 centimetres, uh, they might be 103 centimetres, might be 102.5 centimetres, 102.5678.9 centimetres, and I can measure them with ever-increasing degrees of accuracy. Okay? They're not just in distinct groups. You're not just either 124 centimetres or 125 centimetres. Okay? You can be between. And that is the difference between discrete data and continuous data. So this is all, these are all the types of data that you need to be aware of and what, what they mean. So you start off with these ideas of primary and secondary data of who collected the data. Then in a questionnaire, a question is either going to be related to qualitative data or quantitative. And then in the quantitative, it's either going to be split up into discrete or continuous data, depending on the question.